Tonight, a Help Me Hank exclusive takes you inside the Flint water crisis investigation. The people of Flint just don't feel like there is going to be justice in this case. A new team and a new focus. Their um, pleas have been ignored or overlooked uh, for far too long. Michigan's Attorney General and the Flint Mayor speaking out about the case that everyone has been watching for so long. People of Flint were stunned when it was announced the Flint investigation would be heading in an entirely new direction with new leadership. Now as new work gets underway, we're hearing from those closest to the case. Here's our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester. If there's one thing I know for sure, the people of Flint want and deserve justice. Michigan's Attorney General tells me she is focused on making sure everyone who played a role in that nightmare is held accountable. Um, the people of Flint just don't feel like there is going to be justice in this case. Do you think uh, eventually there will be? Well, I, I absolutely understand why they feel that way. And I've been to Flint countless times to talk to members of the community. Um, I think no one can say that they have a gut in a raw deal. And so Michigan AG Dana Nessel says she is focused on getting justice for Flint, but the stunning move made earlier this year took many by surprise. The Flint is not held accountable. I don't know. I honestly can't comprehend it. Well, the question is, is when, where, and how long? The state dismissing all criminal charges related to the Flint water crisis and starting that investigation over. Why? New evidence surfaced, and there was also concern about some of the plea deals. From what I saw, yeah, there was a lot of time that was wasted. Some believe this is a move by Democrats to take control of this case and ultimately go after former Republican Governor Rick Snyder. Do you think Governor Snyder should be charged for his role in Flint? Well, again, I don't have the information that our criminal team has. They now have some 20 million documents, as I understand it, and dozens and dozens of devices that they didn't formally have before they executed a lot of search warrants that had never been executed. Snyder's phone, computer, iPad, all seized as a part of the new ongoing investigation. Solicitor General Hamoud and Wayne County Prosecutor Worthy confirming the new search warrants. The former governor and about 30 members of his team were included. I'm sure if they have probable cause to believe that a crime was committed, then they will be certain to charge that. Flint's mayor is hopeful that this new direction will lead to high-ranking officials being held accountable. I said, you know, if this is what has to happen, we want some accountability here. And if this is how it has to be done, then do it. But it has to be explained to the people in a way that makes sense. And I think the way the headlines read, were, it yeah. was very misleading. And while Flint's mayor says she supports the attorney general and prosecutor worthy, she was disappointed when this news broke at first and the people of Flint were left in the dark. I was glad that they came and met with the people of the city of Flint to explain it to them. I wish that part had taken place a little bit sooner. Do you but think I was that people really understand it yet? They, well, I'll tell you what, they didn't originally at all. Yeah. There was a lot of anger. Leaders did hold a town hall in Flint to explain this new direction and the investigation. The hope for those here that justice will finally be served. For Nestle, it's the same. She says she wants action and she wants to make sure what happened in Flint never happens again. Members of the previous legal team had said that more charges were coming in the Flint case, and while they're proud of the work that was done and disappointed not to see the case through, everyone agrees the most important thing is making sure there is justice for Flint. I'm consumer investigator Hank Winchester. Yeah. You, know, you and I have spent time in Flint, and the people we took, we wonder how long does it take to get the trust back? That's right. To believe what they've been told. And you got to think the crisis will never be over if they can never trust the system, and that's, exactly. that's going to be hard. Yep. All right, here's Karen Drew with what's coming up tomorrow at 5.